cookie with events by Colette and Chef Reese, of course. Uh, Reese, uh, don't, uh, don't Sanchez West for this oil. Can Sanchez West for this? No, sir. Como se llaman ellos? No, sir. No? Okay. We have two uh, cars here of our guests today, of course. Um, today we're going to be cooking a recipe that uh, the Egyptians, um, well, as it so as it so was written, the Egyptians were the first ones to write this recipe. Uh, many people think of it as uh, Greek food, Mediterranean food, uh, gosh, uh, Middle Eastern food. Um, but as we all know, yes, Egypt is in that realm, and it. Uh, we think that the Egyptians were the first ones to write this recipe about 2,000 years ago. And originally it's uh, made with garbanzo beans, but there have been many versions uh, of this particular recipe, which we're gonna be doing one today. Um, I was reading an article in Chow Hound, uh, which I get uh, weekly, their weekly newsletter, and uh, there was a version of this, and I thought, you know, let's go ahead and tweak that where I can actually eat it, where it's gluten-free and dairy intolerant. And cauliflower. See, cauliflower. Um, so as you see, we went ahead and started the recipe a little bit. Um, this is riced cauliflower. Um, there are many different versions and colors of cauliflower. Uh, you can read more about that in my blog. Um, I have many different cauliflower recipes. Um, today we're going to be using white cauliflower. But yes, if you aren't familiar, there are green, purple, and orange cauliflower. Yeah, I own. I own a kick. Una cosa para pinchar un dedo. Oh, sí. 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 Por Una eso papa. no toques. Si no toques. No, sí. no, no. Uh, there's a blade, so we don't want to put our fingers in when we're cleaning it out. Um, so uh, I wanted to leave a little bit of cauliflower unriced because um, a good friend of ours, John, <laughs> Hi John. He asked one day, so how do you rice cauliflower in a rice cooker? I said, no. <laughs> you just put it in the Ninja or the food processor. Um, so yes, today we're going to be making cauliflower um, goat cheese hummus. If I didn't mention that already, I'm sorry. Okay, and Reese is ready to cook. Okay, so we're going to be cooking um, and we're just put everything in the food processor. This is uh, rosemary, romero. Si, sí, Reese, romero. Y se el sí. romero. Gracias. Y oregano. Si. Sí. So, as you see, we're using fresh herbs. Um, this recipe is better when you use the fresh herbs, not the dry herbs. I'm sorry. It's just, if you have only the dry herbs, go for it. Um, but with this particular recipe, um, we're just going to be using the fresh ones today. We have ajo or garlic. Um, as, as usual, I will be posting this recipe online um, along with the video. So I know we're going a little fast today because Reese is excited to cook. Um, yes, we have fresh basil, albahaca. Ooh, okay. Y Reese, creo que sí, necesitamos um, uh, con la tapa ahora, sí. Y después los otros ingredientes, ¿cierto? Okay. okay. So we are going to food process this a little bit um, to compact it down. <laughs> okay, conectar por favor. Okay. And as I always say, if you haven't gotten your child in the kitchen already, please do so. Um, as you can see, Reese is fully functional right here. Um, okay. Puré. Uh, puré. Sí. Okay, so we went ahead and food processed this uh, for a little bit on different settings just because it is it is pretty bulky. Um, we want to get everything combined. Um, now we're going to go ahead and uh, combine the other ingredients. Okay, we see tahini, another Mediterranean, uh, typically Mediterranean di uh, dish. Okay, si vamos. Yo quiero ah. comer un poco de tahini, mama. Okay. Um, so, as I started saying before we turned on the machine, which is very loud, uh, please get your children cooking in the kitchen. Um, it, if anything, it increases their palate and it makes them want to try things if you have a picky eater, for example. 
Um, and also she's a math reading motor skills. Ok, we see. ¿Quieres comer el? Sure. ¿Quieres terminar? No. Con tus dedos. Ok, we have a dog here. Ok, pues. Um, we have our tahini and now we have our uh, cheese. Um, you know, let me get another one. I have forgotten. Um, so we're going to be adding eight ounces of softened goat cheese. I only have half of that right here, so let me run to the fridge and get another one. Okay. Um, last but not least, after the cheese, we will be adding lime and Mama, salt and pepper. Mama, you'll kill. Okay, Um, I'll tire of the cheese. Okay, está en el rifle. Okay. So the cheese and the tahini are obviously going to help thicken the hummus. Aquí. Okay. Okay. Donde está el plato? As usual, we are eating while we cook. <laughs> when Reese was little, this is how we would kind of run our lives. That's how I got him cooking in the kitchen because I couldn't get anything done while I was trying to help raise him. So I just said, you know what? We're going to do everything in the kitchen. Ah, two tahini. Okay, so let's feed Reese a little bit. Okay, two tahini. Okay, so Reese is going to go ahead and eat while we finish this up. Okay. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. I always say I had salt and pepper to taste. Some people, um, such as myself and my mother, yes, mother, um, abuela, um, she and I both love everything a lot more salty. <laughs> and then some people like things more spicy, so add more pepper if you like too. A ver, pimienta y sal y limón. Um, some people are uh, lazy and prefer to buy lemon juice, um, but I always just like doing this, the fresh lime uh, or lemon juice. Um, you know, if you can invest in a squeezer like this, this is cast iron. Um, they're amazing. <laughs> totally worth it. I actually got mine at Pottery Barn and I used to work there. It was on sale. Um, so going back to, um, I have many, many recipes, many different versions of hummus, many different versions of cauliflower. Um, so you can uh, go on my blog, and if you can't easily find something, please let me know, message me, and I will help you through it. Um, and if I had mentioned this before, um, we are going to start doing uh, live classes, which you can join me while I'm cooking. You can questions and answers, history, like I usually have um, offered about each recipe and the ingredients. And uh, we'll be doing those um, probably monthly and then probably weekly, depending on how things are with my schedule, with raising race also. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and turn on the food process. Okay, so we have food processed it and uh, ready to go. Um, this is a hummus that, or hummus that you can basically with anything. Today we're going to be enjoying it with my uh, Ethiopian injera or teff flatbread as a lot of people know it. If you haven't been to an Ethiopian restaurant, um, go and you can try. Uh, this is what they serve instead of just regular bread, uh, they serve injera teff bread. Um, so I hope you can enjoy this. Reese, get us this here, ciao? No? Okay. Well, thank you again for um, joining us today and again i will be sending out something uh for live zoom classes uh where we can be or you can cook alongside with me virtually and we'll have question and answers and historic uh, history behind um the different food ingredients and the origin of recipes uh that we always have sorry i was cleaning the table <laughs> always have a clean kitchen uh, when you're waiting for something in the oven, by the way, what a perfect time to clean up after you've cooked. Um, 
If you are not already on our mailing list, uh, go ahead and reach out to me uh, if you want to be included on uh, the information for the Zoom classes. Um, they will just be a small nominal fee, um, so it can help cover my cost of food. Thank you so much. Ciao.